The Salton Sea continues to be a looming environmental disaster as it shrinks, creating toxic air quality and killing wildlife. Now a new study is showing how there may be somewhat of a silver lining to the shrinking of the Salton Sea. News Channel 3's Angela Chen going in-depth on this tonight in her special report, Seismic Sea. It's a finding that puts us between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Turns out that as the Salton Sea dries up, it's been stabilizing the San Andreas Fault and perhaps, in turn, delaying the big one. We think, in part, one of the reasons why it's been so long since the last major earthquake is that this area, this Salton Trough region, has not filled with water uh, in, in the kind of volumes that we saw in the historic past of ancient Lake Cahia. Researchers from San Diego State and UC San Diego say a new study shows major earthquakes over the last thousand years have happened when the Salton Sea has been full. But to be clear, full from the ancient Lake Cahuilla, which was about six times the size of the Salton Sea today. It's been filled up, then dried up multiple times throughout history when the lake was filled with 40 times the amount of water as what we see today. You can think of the modern day Salton Sea as kind of a drop in the bucket. Advanced computer modeling now shows that's because when the Salton Sea was at its fullest, the massive weight of the water actually bent the surrounding crust with water worming its way deep underground. This phenomenon affects the San Andreas Fault, increasing the chance for massive ruptures and intense earthquakes. You can think of um, taking like a plastic ruler between your hands and pushing your two hands together and it bends the ruler that changes the stresses on the fault because the fault is like a crack in the ground. So what does this mean for us? It's a double-edged sword stuck in tectonic stone. A shrinking Salton Sea means harmful air quality for the surrounding areas, but a robust, significantly fuller Salton Sea means increasing the chances of the big one. Except Salton Sea experts say they're not too worried because of our ongoing drought. We're going into the 22nd year of uh, drought of the Colorado River, and that is going to pretty much limit the amount of water flowing into the Salton Sea. So being concerned of too much water uh, shouldn't be the concern right now. What we do need to worry about is the big one. Seismologists say it is long overdue and that it's inevitable. And because the Coachella Valley is located so close to the southern San Andreas Fault, we need to be especially prepared here in the desert. And that includes having an earthquake emergency kit, complete with things like water and food for three days, a flashlight, battery separate, and of course, an emergency radio and so much more. Earthquakes linked to the Salton Sea, a reminder that what man does has an impact on nature, which in turn comes back to man. It's why finding a balanced solution to the lake is crucial to the health of the Coachella Valley and beyond. Angela Chen, News Channel 3. Now, ancient Lake Cahuilla used to be so large that the size of the lake stretched from the Palm Desert area all the way past the border of Mexico. Historical records show that a major earthquake happens every 180 years, but scientists say there has not been a severe quake on the southern section of the San Andreas in the last 300 years. If you would like to learn more about this study, you can find more information at KESQ.com.